Welcome to the Blues Asia Network on UR Face Radio. Your host, Tomcat Holman. The only source covering blues across Asia and the Pacific. The keep the train rolling, steady across the land. with us again, and we're in a new year, right here on New Year's Day, we are, and we are bringing you Blues Asia Network TV yeah. by Blues Asia Network, Network. Yeah. yeah, and I tell you, we've got a lot of really exciting stuff for you tonight, so hang around, but first of all, enjoy our opening song here, by You Blues. Okay, folks, and listen, Happy New Year to you all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so how is your holiday, Sir Tom? Hey, well, I tell you, our, uh, our December was hugely, hugely busy. Uh, and uh, we produced a concert. Uh, we hosted Brendan Power when he was in tower, town. Wow. We went off to Jakarta to the Blues Festival, and we went over to Singapore and dropped in on Crazy Elephant. And then, of course, there was Christmas Day and New Year's Eve, so this month has been Whoa. hugely <laughs> busy. <laughs> and I know you guys have been busy, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, your band... Um, we got a lot of gigs got this a lot of December. Gigs, yeah, yeah, I tell you. So, uh, anyway, folks, we hope all of you were busy and doing bluesy things and uh, and we hope that everybody gets a uh, happy new year <laughs> yeah absolutely <laughs> in any case uh the uh, uh we've uh, really during this month of january we're going to be focusing on something very very special uh we'll tell you about it in a little bit when we get into our show so don't go away, because we've, we've got something really important to share. But first of all, uh, we're still getting really exciting feedback <laughs> about our show. And as a matter of fact, <clears throat> we got uh, a really nice uh, email message from a guy named Peter Mad Cat Ruth. <laughs> And you probably don't know him. Yes, where he is from. Uh, he's from the U.S., and he is one of the major <laughs> harmonica players in the U.S. Uh, uh, Another one of these harmonica gurus, uh, a great teacher. Uh, I've had the good fortune of uh, getting to know Mad Cat uh, over the years. We met, oh, gosh, maybe 20 years ago. Uh, <laughs> And in any case, he got wind of our program and sent us a really, really nice message about how much uh, he enjoys it. Uh, and uh, I'd really thank uh, uh, Mad Cat for, wow, catching up with us and, uh, and giving us a little support <laughs> from over there in the U.S. Yeah. And in addition, he shared with us his... Christmas message. <laughs> and so let's uh, take a listen and a look at Peter Madcat Ruth 
and he has shared Christmas greeting. Hey, how about some Christmas music? Yeah, we were playing that just a little bit late because it's New Year's uh, Day here. Um, we didn't broadcast on Christmas Day. We decided to take ourselves a little Christmas holiday yeah. uh, ourselves. But uh, anyway, uh, that was a Christmas greeting from Peter Mad Cat Ruth from the U.S. to all of us mm -hmm. out here in Asia. I uh, sorry, Tom, I yeah. noticed that most of our feedbacks came from the U.S. I know. Well, yeah. that's <laughs> they're the blues fanatics. And they there. were surprised that the blues is alive here in uh, Asia. Yeah, <laughs> Asia. absolutely. <laughs> it really has taken them by surprise, and uh, and we're really delighted that they're yeah. following us. We got a lot mm. of a uh, lot of feedback from Australia. Oh and uh, <clears throat> Indonesia and Thailand. Uh, those are the, seem to be the hotbeds of our listenership. Right and we now. hope maybe, it's maybe in the future we get some feedbacks in uh, Europe too, European yeah. countries. Yeah, well, we actually, we have. We got some feedback from uh, Turkey wow. uh, a couple <laughs> of months ago. And uh, anyway, we love the feedback, uh, <laughs> yeah. folks. So let us know. You can find us on Facebook. <clears throat> at uh, uh, bluesasianetwork.com Network. and then online bluesasianetwork.com and you can send us email at bluesasia at gmail, gmail. yeah um, in any case uh, uh, we have that Christmas greeting from Peter Madcat Ruth I ought to mention he's a Grammy award winner uh, Ooh, I mean he, yeah uh, <laughs> I mean he's the real deal uh, now we'd like to send a Christmas greeting from Asia back over to the US and Europe <laughs> and to do so we're calling on the services of Chicken Shack Revival <laughs> in Singapore and they've got a Christmas message to share so here we go Chicken Shack Revival Thank you. 
Okay, well, so much for our Christmas greetings back and forth around the world. <laughs> uh, and it's time to march on into 2012. Yeah. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> we'd like to share with you a video that was actually posted just uh, uh, less than 24 hours ago. Yes. Uh, and a very fun... Uh, very professional videography. Yeah, yeah, very professional videographer right here in Manila, Jerry Dewa. And uh, <clears throat> he uh, attended the uh, uh, harmonica workshop and concert by Brendan Power, who was here just a yeah. little over three weeks ago. Yes. And uh, <clears throat> anyway, he captured Brendan Power playing with uh, mm. the young Blue Rascals, uh, Blue yeah. Rascals, and they're doing together Harmonica Man. Yeah. So let's take a look. This was just uh, posted yesterday of an event that happened three weeks ago. Brendan Power, the Blue Rascals, and Harmonica Man. his own original composition with Blue Rascals. And then we'll tell you more about Brendan when he comes up for his real performance. This is just a preview. Oh, this is working. Yeah, great. Wow, what a great band. The Blue Rascals, everybody. Yeah. I was really uh, pretty blown away. I hope I can keep up with them. Yeah, that's working. Great. Okay, here's a little song uh, all about this little instrument, the harmonica. I know it's not, uh, it's not played a lot in the Philippines at the moment, but we're hoping uh, it's going to be growing in popularity. Anyway, it's all about this little instrument. It's called I'm a Harmonica Man. Play with the, the Blue Rascals. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Brenda. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. I tell you what, uh, Brendan sure electrified uh, people here in uh, in Manila, and uh, we're really grateful that he paid us a visit <laughs> and really shared a lot of yeah stuff with us. Yeah. Um, now we've been hinting about something uh, for several weeks now, and now we can officially announce that the Blue Rascals, the band you just heard, are going to represent the Philippines at the International Blues Challenge yep. in Memphis. Yes. <laughs> the first week of February. <laughs> and they got their visas just last week, which means Uncle Sam's going to let them in. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, <clears throat> the Philippine Blues Society has been working to make this happen for quite some time. And uh, a lot of you may not know what the International Blues Challenge, everybody talks, it's call it a, uh, IBC, uh, what it is. And it is an event in Memphis where blues bands from all over the world come in and they try to be the best blues band at the event. And they get over 100 bands, over a hundred, uh, 80 uh, solo and duo groups, yeah. <clears throat> and they have a special division, the youth division. Uh, and that's the division the Rascals will enter. And I understand there are about 23 or 24 uh, competitors in the youth division. Mm, cool. And uh, anyway, uh, we're really, really proud of the Rascals, and uh, of course they're very excited. Yeah. Uh, Sir Tom, is this the first time the Philippines got a representative for the... It is indeed. Uh, first time, and we hope that this uh, wow. <laughs> you know, sets the stage for annual participation by a representative uh, of the Philippine Blues Society. Wow. That's, that's our dream. And the Blue Rascals are the ones kicking, out, kicking it off. And what we're going to do um, tonight and next week <clears throat> is uh, we're going to cover uh, a lot of the bands that have participated or are about to wow, participate <laughs> in the International Blues Challenge, and we're going to be looking at the bands from Asia. Wow, I'm very excited for yeah. that. <laughs> and uh, it's really um, interesting that the Asian bands, uh, particularly from Australia, have been quite active in the International Blues Challenge and have done quite well. Wow. Um, and... We'd like to start off and feature the first band, to my knowledge, from Southeast Asia that went to the IBC. They went back in 1901, yeah. the Universal Blues Band. They call themselves U Blues, Danny Long uh, and um, uh, Trevor Halla. Uh, from Singapore and Malaysia were the front men of that band. And they represented, uh, they were based in Singapore, and they represented the Singapore Blues Society in 2001. And this band, incidentally, is the same band that contributed our theme song. Oh, wow, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so uh, <laughs> uh, this band has really, really been doing it. And we're going to share a clip of the Universal Blues Band. At this point, they're playing at the Byron Bay Blues Fest uh, in Australia. And this is one of the major blues events in the world. And uh, <clears throat> so here we go with U Blues playing at Byron Bay, the first band from Southeast Asia that participated in the International Blues Challenge. So, go guys. <laughs>
Okay, so that's the U Blues from Singapore uh, and representing the Singapore Blues Society at the IBC back in 2001. That particular performance we saw was from Byron Bay. And they're they're big very blues good, up. sir. Yeah, they, <laughs> <laughs> they're a steaming <laughs> band. And uh, uh, their uh, uh, lead vocalist has uh, actually moved on over to... Uh, um, I think he's in Perth, in Australia now. Uh, but U Blues gets together uh, still for reunion gigs, uh, and uh, uh, we wish them well. Um, <clears throat> now, uh, in gathering some information about uh, Asian bands and their participation in the past, uh, we turn to... Uh, a new and uh, good friend of ours, Kath Butler. And boy, is she a treasure of information. And uh, she's the one who gave us uh, some of the background on how well the Australian bands have done in the past. And uh, uh, she pointed us, uh, first of all, to uh, a guitar player named Ray Beadle, uh, who uh, actually, what she says here, I, I really find this uh, fascinating. She says, uh, this is from Kath Butler. I think he's the only Aussie blues artist who did a three-month residency with a house band at B.B. King's in Memphis and Buddy Guys in Chicago. Um, so Ray Beadle, I mean, he's really proved his mettle at uh, two of the top clubs in the world. And um, he <clears throat> was uh, one of the major participants in the past in the International Blues Challenge. Um, so we'd like to introduce you to this band, uh, Ray Beadle, and in this uh Cut. He's uh, his band is performing also at the Byron Bay Blues Festival just a few months ago, uh, and uh, this festival I might mention this festival is now 22 years old in <laughs> Australia, and it happens uh, over uh, Easter week uh, every year, and. Um, uh, it's normally uh, five or six days, uh, so it's a, it's a huge event. Over a hundred bands uh, uh, at Byron Bay. In any case, we're going to catch Ray Beadle live at the Blues Fest at Byron Bay.
Yeah, Ray Beadle and uh, performing at Byron Bay just uh, back in the spring of uh, 2011. Yeah. And he was one of the Aussie bands that uh, represented Australia at the International Blues Challenge in Memphis. Um, now, we're going to turn to two other musicians. They're actually not usually paired as a uh, duo, but we caught them playing together. Each of them uh, has performed at the International Blues Challenge, and they've each done <laughs> really well. <laughs> Uh, Jeff At uh, Atchison, for example, he actually won the Albert King Guitar Award at uh, International Blues Challenge back in the 1990s. And then uh, Fiona uh, Boys uh, won the Solo Performer Award about uh, five or six years ago. So these are both top winners at the International Blues Challenge, uh, both coming from Australia, and we've caught them playing together, uh, and they're at the um, uh, Fur Peace Ranch, uh, playing at a blues fest there. So let's catch Jeff uh, Atchison and Fiona Boys, and you'll probably recognize this song. Say it's funky. No, I've got a funky button in my butt. Just as I hear there's a whole lot of talk People saying you're trying to put the kid down Oh yeah But you tell me what you did babe. Well you can call her what you want I call her messing with the kid Thank you. 
Jeff Atchison and Fiona, Fiona Boys. Boys. Yeah. Both of them individually won awards at the International Blues Challenge in Memphis. And uh, just to remind you, that's what we're focusing on. This uh, big annual event happens the first week of February, and we are looking into the Asian participation yeah. in the International Blues Challenge. And Asia has actually made a mark. <laughs> uh, and uh, so we're really, really pleased that this part of the globe is uh, active in that, and increasingly so. Uh, as a matter of fact, this coming February, for the first time, there'll be a band representing New Zealand. Wow. <laughs> for the first time, there'll be a band <laughs> representing the Philippines. Yeah. And I know that uh, the Indonesia blues association is beginning to get intrigued with this i bet indonesia will have a band uh representing uh their the, country yeah their yeah. country next year uh, so this is uh one of the exciting things yeah. that's <laughs> happening um uh, as uh the blues expands in yeah Asia. it's growing and growing it really is <laughs> now uh, another band that has participated yeah. in the past in the International Blues Challenge is Soulmate. Yeah, which is one of my favorites. Ah, you've gotten on to it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've, uh, we've uh, featured them several times, and uh, I think myself that they may be the... Uh, you lost your... Uh, oh, well, I love them. They're, they're a really hot band. And... Uh, and I had the good fortune of meeting them uh, personally for the first time a couple of weeks ago. And they're really, really nice guys as well. So uh, in any case, Soulmate participated uh, in this event in uh, 2007 and in 2009. And uh, so let's take a listen to Soulmate. Uh, and this particular video, if my memory's right, uh, was uh, captured 
on their way to the International Blues Challenge. Uh, so in any case, Soulmate from India, which represented the India Blues Society at the International Blues Challenge. <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> That's Soulmate from India, yeah. and they <laughs> represented uh, the India Blues Society two times Whoa, at, yeah. at the International Blues Challenge. She got too much uh, oh. blue spirit. <coughs> oh, boy, doesn't she? <laughs> <laughs> she is... Uh, intense. I mean, uh, she, uh, that is the word, intense. <laughs> and, uh, boy, I enjoy their music. Yeah, me too. Uh, okay, we'd like to close out uh, this hour by... Uh, uh, going to the Mosaic Music Festival, where uh, U Blues played, along with, I'm proud to say, Lampano Alley. Yeah. <coughs> we were able to uh, do a, a concert together back in 2005. And, um, and of course, at the end, uh, we did a, a jam session together. And so here is Lampano Alley from the Philippines playing with U Blues, which represented <laughs> Singapore wow. at the International <laughs> Blues uh, Challenge back in 2001. Yeah. Uh, the video is from 2005. So once again, U Blues with Lampano Alley. With Lampano Alley. Yeah. 
you having a good time tonight? I got my mojo working, but it just don't work. Yeah, okay, that was Lampano Alley performing with You Blues at the Mosaic Music Festival back in 2005. And I tell you, what we wish is that the Mojo will be working for all of the Asian bands <laughs> that will be participating in the International Blues Challenge yeah. in February in Memphis. Yeah, we got to get that Mojo working. <laughs> okay. Anyway, we're bringing to a close uh, this hour. Uh, we will continue our focus on uh, some of the blues bands that have participated in past yeah. international <coughs> blues challenges. So be sure to catch our next program in our series. And uh, then, <clears throat> in the meantime, we need to do a little bit of business here uh, and thank... R.J. Yacinto and the people at UR Face Radio who allow us to bring you this program. Yes. So uh, <laughs> are we ready to go with our, uh, uh, with our um, business spiel here? Okay, let's go and do a little business. You are Face Radio, the worldwide Pinoy music portal. It's the latest radio innovation by the real music institution, RJ. You are Face Radio. Broad